Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial about C Sharp and Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2010. In this video tutorial, we're going to cover arrays, and in specific, single dimension arrays. Now, sometimes you have a lot of variables, for instance, integers, and they are all of the same type, and they all belong to a certain group. Now, all this information can be stored in one single variable called an array. And an array is nothing more than a collection of data types of the same data type. Variables of the same data type. Excuse me there. So let's see how, a, how an array can be initialized. First off, if you want to make an array, of, you have to first type in the data type you want to make the array of, followed by square brackets. Then you give it the name, the identifier of the array. For instance, my integer array. And then I'm going to say new int. And then between the close brackets again, I'm going to say 3 followed by a semicolon. Now this means that I've made a new array called my int array and it's it has a size of 3 which means it can store 3 elements in it. Now if you want to st store values at inside this integer array then we can do that in the following way. We say my integer array followed by the square brackets again and then we have to enter an index number as it's called. It is important to know that an index array element starts with zero. So even if we have three elements here now, that means that we have three indexes. Index zero, one, and two. And if we want to give this element, this index, a value, then we can simplify, simply do that by typing its value. We can copy this line. I'm going to change the value so that we can see the difference. And of course we have to change the actual index. And once again we start at 0 and then we increment by 1. Now of course in arrays can also be made with strings or with booleans. But it isn't really important that the data type is not really important. It's more important that you can that you have to store the same data type inside an array. For instance, you cannot store doubles or strings inside an integer array. It is also possible to do it a little bit different. Let's say I want to make another integer array. I'm going to call this my integer array number 2. I'm going to say new int also 3 and then followed by <coughs> the curly brackets, I can already specify some values. This saves out some typing. This way we still declare an array of three, with three elements inside it, but this time we immediately, immediately print out the values that are inside every, that's inside every element. Let's print out these values. We're going to print out these values by using a for loop and then for the length operator, for the length variable, I'm going to say my integer array, the first one we've created, dot length and that returns the length of the array which is 3. So that means it's going to loop 3 times through this array. And then the index we're currently at is being stored in the i variable. So what we can do now is console dot right line and then I'm gonna say my int array has a value of and then I'm gonna say I to string and I'm gonna say plus at index oh, sorry, at index i to string made a little mistake there and if you want to get the value of this 
index, then we have to say my integer array. We open up the square brackets again, enter the i, because of course the value we, we enter here can be variable, which is just what we need right here. I forgot a little character there. And let's see what happens. Here it says, my integer array has a value of 6 at index 0, and then 8 and 19. Let's clean that up a little bit. I'm going to say index here. We can do the same thing for the second array that we've made, but instead, this time we use the 2 here. We add that, and that's all to it. One last thing that I want to tell you about arrays, there are different kind of arrays available in C Sharp but also other programming languages like Java for instance and these are called jagged arrays or multidimensional arrays but we're not going to cover these in this tutorial and that's something for a later tutorial. And that concludes this video tutorial.